Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Tackle Solutions here with another Whiteboard Wednesday. I really hope that you guys are excited. And one of the things that I want to talk about today is I'm not too sure if it's just me, but uh, as of right now, based off of current market conditions, uh, stocks are either very overbought or very oversold. An example is when it comes down to like Amazon or Tesla, uh, two specific companies that are thriving right now, but are very overextended. So you're kind of in this like predicament, right? Where it's so overbought that you don't really feel comfortable holding it overnight because it has the pullback potential, but it is also so bullish that you don't wanna short it or trade against it because it can continue to uptrend. Uh, in comparison to maybe like the overall market, forward slash NQ and TQs, the same predicament, right? TQs is very bullish, it continues to indicate signs of an uptrend, but it's so overbought that it wouldn't be a surprise if it begins to pull back. So I wanted to give you a visual example of pretty much what I'm looking for either as a day trader or maybe even as a swing trader when it comes down to these specific opportunities that are currently presenting themselves. A stock or an ETF that right now is very oversold. A stock, for an example, can be something like Boeing. Boeing is on the 180 day chart approaching the SMA line, which tends to act as a support, but of course it doesn't have to. So it could be viewed as a good deal, maybe for a long term investment in comparison to SQs. SQs is the inverse of TQs. So because the market is so overbought and it has pullback potential, a lot of people are paying attention to SQs for a potential reversal. But because the market is so bullish, a lot of people are scared to take that position. So what I wanted to explain is we saw a series of opportunities that were presented today and I first wanna show you the first one, right? As a day trade, TQs ended up hitting a resistance, it got rejected and then SQs pushed up. And the really cool thing about this is that when TQs began to indicate signs of an uptrend, it approached a nice little resistance level where TQs began to show signs of a resistance and no longer was pushing up, right? So it just continued to consolidate, which was indicating signs of a potential resistance level. With that being said, a lot of people were then paying attention to SQs, which of course does the exact opposite, which was more at the support level, while TQs was more at the resistance level. And then when we got confirmation of TQs and forward slash NQ selling off, confirming that sell off by making lower lows it no longer was consolidating it was actually making lower lows and that is where sqs followed and began to make higher highs not only does it present this specific opportunity intraday which means on the one day one minute chart but if you guys also pay attention to the 180 day chart you guys could see that forward slash nq is super overbought tqs is super overbought but what it continues to do is, let's say this is the EMA line, as of right now, it just continues and continues to make higher highs off of the EMA line, and it still has not confirmed or made lower lows below the EMA line. So what I'm personally waiting out is for the proper reversal indication. And what that would look like for me is, although we have been showing signs of an uptrend on forward slash NQ and TQQQ, and we are paying attention to SQ and the profit potential that it has to offer, I would like to see TQs begin to make lower lows and lower highs on the 180 day chart confirming that it's gonna be correcting itself and pulling back potentially to the SMA line. And one of the things that you can look a little bit further into is it has this pattern. It's done this for the past four months since it's recovered from its overall lows since the pandemic, it has made higher highs and higher lows. It doesn't just shoot up it pushes up, it meets a resistance, and then it quickly corrects itself and then continues with its overall uptrend. So I do agree, the overall market is super, super bullish, but it doesn't mean that you can't educate yourself on how to make money when the market sells off. So this is why I'm making this video and wanting to show you a real world example and talk about the three stages of a reversal. We obviously have the rejection, which is SQQQ as of right now. It's making lower lows and lower highs. But because we're approaching that resistance level on TQs, SQs is approaching consolidation, the potential support level. We don't know if TQs is gonna to continue to uptrend, just as we don't know if SQs is gonna to continue to downtrend. All we know is that it's in the consolidation phase. This is why a lot of people are paying attention to both TQs and SQs as of right now. What I'm waiting out for is for us to break this consolidation on the SQs aspect and actually start making higher highs, which would of course be the exact opposite for TQs and forward slash NQ. So although we do see a lot of profit potential when it comes down to the recovery of SQs, we need to make sure that we do our part in only getting in after confirmation. Because as of right now, although we are consolidating and we do hope for 
an actual confirmation. It doesn't mean that some news can't be shared that can act as a positive catalyst for the overall market. It can shoot TQQ up forward slash NQ up, which will do the exact opposite for SQs. So it's great that you're right now paying attention to a potential reversal, but again, nothing is set in stone and although patterns do tend to repeat themselves, they do not always have to. So what I would personally say is it's really good to educate yourself on the three stages of a reversal rejection, consolidation, and confirmation. And one of the things that I've also talked about before is more on the day trading aspect, right? Is when you're day trading, you can manage your risk within that day. So therefore, if you do get in during the consolidation phase, you can at least manage your risk if things begin to go south. And this is essentially what I'm doing right now on the one day, one minute chart or the one day, five minute chart for forward slash and Q in comparison to TQs. TQs as of right now is very overbought as you guys can see right now and it's meeting a resistance level which means that SQs is at a previous support level. So if I get in with 10% of what I normally trade with, I only have 10% of my position size at stake. So if things go south, I can quickly cut losses. There's not much emotion to tie to it because my dollar amount at risk is very little. Of course, if you're either under the PDT rule or you like to wait for overall confirmation, that's essentially, I think, one of the most conservative ways on how to approach it. And 100%, if you're more on the beginner side, that's what I would personally wait for, just to ensure that you don't waste a day trade on a false reversal. But there is no question that by getting in right now during the consolidation, if we do get confirmation, then as it begins to indicate signs of an uptrend, I can slowly begin to add 20%, 30% of my position size as it begins to indicate signs of an uptrend. So what I'm trying to share with you is instead of that beginner mentality of averaging down as something is selling off, do your part in waiting for the consolidation phase. If you choose to get in, just watch that position size. And if things begin to go south, I would rather be someone that would cut losses in comparison to averaging down as why would it make sense to add more to a position that is simply losing money, right? So the big focus here is averaging up when the direction is in your favor and when you have confirmation. If you don't want to buy before confirmation, then of course, I think that's one of the safest ways to trade, especially if you're under the PDT rule. So let me know in the comments section what you guys think about these three stages of a reversal. Are you personally someone that is watching or paying attention to overall market conditions because they are so overbought? Do you think that the overall market will continue to uptrend or do you think a nice little pullback is slightly overdue? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this new episode of Whiteboard Wednesday. I hope that we earned your thumbs up. Don't forget, to subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay connected. Click that first link down below, join our free Facebook group. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy.